Well, hello YouTube. This video will be about real frequency range of Vertex Standard Hotel X-Ray 290. Because I have found documentation, official documentation, allow me to show that this variant is 131, okay, 131 radio. Let me show that to you. So this is service manual and if you scroll down a little bit, you will see information that radio 131 goes between 450 and 470 so this is official official documentation and official statement about frequencies so the thing when we talk about reality is and let me start this radio probably there will be no interference oh there is so I will uh, remove this antenna because of interference so when we get into programming mode with a high low and lamp then we get there and we will go to channel number one we will see that receiving lowest receiving frequency that i'm being able to type here is a, a 433600 so this is the lowest physically possible receiving frequency I think that depends on temperature or something like that because there are small oscillation here also so maybe it will work with 4335 or 4338 but this is at the moment case with me definitely I'm sure that 4336 is a frequency where radio will not complain right now so this is a receiving frequency when we talk about lowest transmitting frequency it is a little bit higher it is 434800 434800 so these are the lowest possible frequencies you can type into radio without complaining if radio will complain it will say UL UL on screen that means that either your receiving or transmitting frequency are not good and this is the reason why I say that you program always this radio with a low power because I think there is a difference there too so low power and this uh, range when we talk about lowest stuff well what about highest frequencies you can type into this radio because they say that it is 470 well it's a little bit higher so let's uh, go to channel number uh, 2 here so highest receiving frequency in my case is the same as highest transmitting frequency and that is a 475400 475400 so probably you don't want to remember uh, all these numbers so I have created a notepad here for you a little bit big let me show that So guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is a default situation, what they state in official documents. And this is the real stuff like uh, 433600 and 434800. When we talk about lowest thing, and this is upper boundary. So this is for 5 MHz bigger than what they stated. And this is a lot bigger when we talk about minimal frequency uh, between 4, 5 zero and four three three four three four well in any case it may happen guys it may happen that sometimes this radio will even complain if you program frequencies in manufacturer range i don't know what is the real reason for that but sometimes it will just complain so what i have observed uh, in the previous channels when i bought these is that that profession professional service that was using it created one piece of frequencies in a 450 range and one piece of frequencies in 47 range so they basically have 15 or 20 megahertz like a like a spare between uh, lowest three channels and upper three channels so this is what they were doing probably because of same reason or some tactical reason I don't know so yeah that's pretty much it let me repeat one more time these are the real RX and real TX frequencies uh, I can type in my radio. So maybe this will be useful for some of you guys. And as I noticed, even sometimes 
if you program frequencies in a 450 up to 470 the radio may comply complain with a UL on a screen well at least you know what is happening then just find some frequency where radio will not complain because well officially you have 20 megahertz but unofficially you have a uh, I don't know let's say a little bit more okay with that I'm gonna conclude this video thank you for watching for support and subscription and subscribe if you didn't it will help this channel to grow a little bit or little bit sorry I just woke up so I don't know what I'm saying basically anyway subscribe if you didn't thank you for watching and uh, see you next one ciao ciao